Hello friends, in this video we will discuss what are the subjects in the third year of BDS and what all books have to be referred in this year. So let's start. There are only three subjects in the third year. Yes, you heard it right, only three subjects. This would be the least stressful year of your BDS studies. Out of the three subjects, one is a dental subject which is oral pathology and oral microbiology and two are medical subjects that is general medicine and general surgery. Now let's talk about the dental subject which is oral pathology and oral microbiology. So firstly I would advise you that though the third year is a more relaxed year compared to other years of BDS studies, you have to study oral pathology and microbiology with great sincerity. This is because if you study and understand oral pathology well, then it would help you to understand the subject of oral medicine well in the final year. Both are related subjects. So. When you would be thorough and clear with all topics of OPATH in the third year, then when you have to study 8 subjects in the final year, you need not spend too much time, time studying oral medicine as most topics would be repeated. Then you can focus more on oral radiology. In oral pathology, you would learn about tumors and cysts of the oral cavity, various diseases of the salivary glands, various bacterial, fungal and viral infections of the oral cavity, etc. The book which has to be referred is Schaeffer's textbook of oral pathology, South Asian edition. It is a very good book with proper explanations, detailed classifications and good illustrations. Also, the language used is easy to understand. In the practicals of OPATH, you will learn to identify the slides of oral cysts, tumors, etc. To identify the specimens of the cysts, tumors, developmental disturbances like gemination, fusion, etc. Now, coming to the medical subject, general medicine, in short, GM. Here you will learn about various diseases, for example, malaria, dengue, pneumonia, jaundice, etc. You will have to learn about the cause of the disease, its pathophysiology, the signs and symptoms involved and the treatment required. You will also get to learn about various types of fever. The book which has to be referred for the theory of GM is Textbook of Clinical Medicine for Dental Students. It is a very good book with everything well explained in simple words. In the practicals of GM, you will learn to take case history of patients and arrive at a diagnosis from that case history. You will also learn to identify common medicines and commonly used instruments in general medicine wards like the Ambu bag, Ryle's tube, etc. You will also learn to diagnose conditions like tuberculosis or pneumonia by looking at the chest x-rays. A very good book called PJ Mehta's Practical Medicine can be referred for GM practicals. Now coming to the second medical subject which is general surgery in short GS. In this you will learn about various conditions like necrosis, gangrene, ulcers, deep vein thrombosis, burns etc. There are various good options available while choosing a book for GS like the Manipal Manual of Surgery for Dental Students by Shenoy, Concise Textbook of Surgery by S. Das or SRB Surgery for Dental Students. All are good concise books and any one of them can be used. In the practicals of GS, you will learn to take case history of patients and arrive at a diagnosis from the case history to identify surgical instruments like suture materials, needle holders, etc. and to identify medical conditions by looking at the x-rays. You can also get the chance to learn to change the dressing of patients with ulcers and diabetic foot. Thanks for watching.